Hey friends, good morning. It's a beautiful morning and we are starting it with an informative note. So do not miss our current affairs through this morning tale series because these current affairs not only add to your knowledge but also give you an edge over others in competitive examinations. So without wasting any time, let's begin our today's current affairs. So you must be wondering why I have put this picture of truck on the very first slide. So it is not a useless picture, it is the very first news of the day. So let us discuss this news. So this truck belongs to Ashok Leyland and Ashok Leyland is one of the largest manufacturers of trucks in India and also in public transport. And this Ashok Leyland company has converted its heavy duty trucks into BS6 compliant trucks. And by doing so, it has become the first company in India to convert its trucks into BS6 compliant trucks. So this was the news surrounding it. Now I have a question for you. So the question is, what is the timeline proposed by Supreme Court of India to implement this BS6 norms in India? So do not forget to mention your answers in the comment section below that when is this BS6 norm going to be implemented in India? Now it's time for our first question of the day that is, how much assistance will India provide to the global fund to fight AIDS, tuberculosis and malaria as part of its sixth replenishment cycle? So this global fund to fight AIDS, TB and malaria is the global organization as the name is suggesting which aims to fight AIDS, tuberculosis and malaria in uh, the countries worldwide. So recently India has pledged $22 million for the assistance. So this $22 million assistance by India to the global fund is the sixth replenishment cycle or basically the sixth round of funding given by India to this global fund. So now let us come to the static part. So India became a part of this global fund in the year 2002. And India had joined this organization both as a recipient and as a donor. So as a recipient, India had received an assistance of $500 million from this fund in the year 2018 for the period of 2018 to 2021. Apart from this, there is also a minor information about this news which is that till now, since 2002, India has given around 46.5 million as assistance to the global fund. So that was all about this question. Now let's move on to the next question of the day. That is, where has the Asia's first fifth generation virtual reality based advanced driver training simulator center been launched? The name itself is suggesting the purpose of the center that it aims to train drivers. Now where has it been? opened so it has been opened in chennai and where is chennai it is in tamil nadu it's the capital of tamil nadu so the option d is the answer to this question now this simulator center aims to train around 200 ambulance drivers and this training is a part of safe drivers campaign so this was all about this question now let's move on to the next question of the day but before discussing this question, let me tell you guys that if you are liking our videos, so do not forget to subscribe to our channel as it is a motivation for us to provide quality content to the listeners so far videos. So do hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for more informative videos like this. Now, the question is saying with which state has World Bank partnered to provide funding for the pro poor tourism development project? So first we discuss this project itself. So this pro poor tourism development project aims to alleviate poverty and generate employment through the medium of tourism. So this development project aims to increase tourism. Now which state has launched this pro project to increase tourism as well as alleviate poverty and in generate employment. So it is the state of Uttar Pradesh which has launched this project in association with World Bank. So now let us discuss the technicalities. So this project is worth 57.14 million and out of this cost 
सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द कॉस्ट विल बी बॉर्न बाय वर्ल्ड बैंक एंड थर्टी परसेंट विल बी बॉर्न बाय द यू पी गवर्नमेंट सो दैट इज द मैट्रिक्स ऑफ कॉस्ट विच विल बी शेयर बिटवीन वर्ल्ड बैंक एंड उत्तर प्रदेश नाउ दिस प्रो पुअर टूरिज्म प्रोजेक्ट वॉज अप्रूव्ड इन दर ट्वेंटी सेवनटीन बाय वर्ल्ड बैंक एंड विल एंड इन दर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सो दिस इज द टाइम पीरियड फॉर विच दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज लॉन्च सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन this is quite interesting so where has the first ever terracotta grinder been launched by khadi and village industries commission recently this khadi and village industries commission which is the premier organization in india to promote khadi and village industries so it has launched its first ever terracotta grinder and this terracotta grinder aims to recycle the wasted pottery so this terracotta grinder has been launched in varanasi and varanasi is in uttar pradesh now apart from this i have an another important news for you guys and the news is that the khadi and village industry commission had in 2018 launched an initiative which is called replan this replan initiative stands for reducing plastic in nature so as the name itself is suggesting that the plan aims to reduce the plastic content in nature by using it in a semi permanent way so that was the main purpose of launching this replan since it has been launched by the khadi and village industries commission so it becomes important from exam point of view now the next question is which country has got the chairmanship of association of world election bodies quite important so do listen it carefully Recently election commission of india has inaugurated the fourth general assembly of this association of world election bodies so the fourth general assembly was held in india at bengaluru so that was one information about this the second information is that this association of world election bodies was established in the year 2013 in south korea and it has its headquarters in seoul which is the capital of south korea now this aweb is the world's largest association of election management bodies and this election management body aims to conduct fair transparent and just elections around the world and this aweb has currently 114 members in total and now the other important information is that india has been elected as the chair of this organization for a period of 2019 to 2021 so this is the time period for which india has been elected as its chairman so the chief election commissioner of india that is sunil arora will be the chairman of this association for a term of 2 years from 2019 to 2021 now guys you must be wondering about this map that why have i put this map here so this is the map of india which i have put here to tell you something about the east neighbors of india so in the east we have pakistan afghanistan iran iraq jordan saudi arabia united arab emirates oman and yemen and all these countries hold an importance for india because with the pakistan we are already aware of the spat which is going on kashmir Afghanistan is in the news very much because of the US Taliban talks that is not that much important from exam point of view but yes from the static point of view you should be aware about boundaries of these nations then we have Iran and uh, due to the US sanctions we had to stop oil imports from Iran but India is also trying to carve out new ways to continue its trade with Iran in some of the goods then we have iraq jordan not very much important neighbors but saudi arabia and the saudi aramco company has recently bought a 20% stake in reliance which we have already discussed in one of our previous morning tales this is uae which has honored prime minister narendra modi with its highest honor so the task for you is that you have to mention the name of that honor then oman and yemen so that was all about the eastern neighboring part of india and now let's move on to the next question of today which tourist destination in india has been accredited with the best swachh iconic place honor in the swachh iconic places list 
रिलीज्ड बाय मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ जल शक्ति सो श्री माता वैष्णो देवी श्राइन इज द क्लीनेस्ट आइकॉनिक प्लेस और इज द क्लीनेस्ट टूरिस्ट डेस्टिनेशन नथिंग मच टू डिस्कस हियर अबाउट दिस न्यूज जस्ट अ स्टैटिक क्वेश्चन इट वॉज नो वी हैव अनदर स्टैटिक क्वेश्चन विच इज क्वाइट इंपॉर्टेंट Which decade has been designated as the UN decade on biodiversity? So, as I have already mentioned to you, that United Nation often designates period of ten years for a common goal to achieve. So, the common goal which this UN decade on biodiversity aims to achieve is to conserve biodiversity. So, now which decade is this? It is two thousand eleven to two thousand twenty. guys i have a question for you here so do you know that which year has been designated as the international year of indigenous languages if you know then do mention your answers in the comment section below and do not forget this thing that we had already discussed it in one of our previous morning tales so if you want any help then you can also watch those videos to get yourself updated with the current affairs static question again where is konya dam located so before answering this question let me show you the map so this is the map and here is the konya dam now this konya dam is built on konya river and from this location i hope you all have got the answer to the question so it is in maharashtra apart from this i have put this picture of various dams in india so you can click a screenshot of this picture to keep all the dams in your mind so clearly our answer to this question is option a maharashtra next question who is the chairman of insurance regulatory and development authority so option a subhash chandra khuntia is the chairman of irdai and this organization is the premier organization which regulates the insurance policies and companies in india so now the question for you guys is that when was this ird A I established. The next question is where is the Sanjay Gandhi National Park located? This is the question for you guys. I am just leaving you with a hint here. So this is the map where you can easily locate the answer to this question. And now it's time to conclude our morning tales for today. Thank you so much, guys, for watching our video. And and again, I would repeat this thing that if you have learned anything from our video, so do not forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for all the latest. notifications thank you